Hey guys, here we have the 2022 Salem Hemisphere 356 uh, QB. This uh, video walkthrough for it will start outside and make your way around. Uh, so on this side, you have your storage compartment, uh, pass through. And this door is held up by magnets. Uh, so you got a nice pass through storage here. On this side, you have the solar charger uh, controller right here. Uh, and this will tell you how charged the battery is, what the voltage is at the batteries, and you can check the amperage. Um, and then you have light switch there. And that'll be for the lights up front. And then you have a light right here. Oh, that's also controlled by that. Uh, you have a bottle opener there. Then you have a battery disconnect. So if it's parked for a while and you're not plugged in, you can turn the battery off. Uh, then you got an uh, inverter right there. Uh, then right here is a little place to hook a dog to. Uh, leash him up right there. Uh, you have light out here. Uh, you got spare tire in this storage compartment. Uh, you got two batteries. Um, yeah, and just storage up here. Uh, right here is your controls for your jacks and leveling system. Uh, so to turn it on, you just press the two arrows at the same time, and then you have up and down for the front legs. Uh, you have auto level, so it'll level itself. Uh, then you can track all of them, and then you can program a hitch height uh, for it. All right, uh, your pin box is up here. Uh, you got your breakaway for emergency brake, and then you have uh, your seven way for lights and brakes. Uh, your propane ta propane tanks are right here. You got two 30 pound tanks. Uh, you just open the valves and then uh, this will point to what tank is drawing from. Right now it's green. That means there's gas going through. Uh, you can have both of them on. Once this one goes empty, this will turn red, but the valve inside will automatically uh, change to draw from this tank. Uh, then you have the other side of the storage compartment. Then you also have your wet bay. Uh, so this is where your water hookups are. Uh, so you got your city water connection for uh, campgrounds. Uh, and then you got fresh water tanks. So if you're going on a long trip or if you're going someplace that doesn't have water hookups, you can fill the portable water tank before you leave. Uh, you got bypass for uh, winterizing. Uh, and you got the hose right here to go into the jug of antifreeze. And then you have the bypass for the water heater uh, so you don't fill that up with antifreeze. Uh, you got outside shower right here. And then you have the black tank flush for the front black tank. And then you got a little light in here. So if you're setting up when it's dark out, you can see what you're doing. Uh, then you also have your cable and satellite hookups there and there's a little port right here you can run your hose through uh, that way you can open and close the storage door all right uh, you got your power cord hook up here this is a 50 amp unit because it has two air conditioners um, so make sure you have the 50 amp hookup you can hook up to 30 amp, uh, but you only be able to run one air conditioner at a time. Uh, then your water heater is right here. And this is gas and electric. Um, for the gas, the switch is inside, it lights on its own. You don't have to come out here and light a pilot. Uh, for the electric, it's just a simple on off switch right there. Uh, once you're hooked up and plugged in. All right. 
Uh, you have the first sewer outlet right here. And you got the gray tank right there. And then that'll be for the kitchen. And then up here is the valves for the bathroom. So you have the black tank right here, which is your toilet. And then you got the gray tank right there, which will be for the shower and the sink in the bathroom. Uh, and all you do is just open and close the valves just like that. And then uh, you have your fresh water drain right here. Uh, there's just a little valve right there that you open and close. And then on this side, uh, you have the rear sewer outlet for the rear bathroom. Uh, again, your gray tank and your black tank. Then you have the rear entry door and that'll give you access directly to the rear bathroom. Uh, that way uh, you, people don't have to track through the whole camper. They can just go right to this one. And then this is the black tank flush for the rear uh, toilet. And then you got your ladder to get on the roof and check in. There's a prep for a backup camera. And then you also have a little light. Um, so like a little porch light out here. Uh, on this side, uh, you got your outside kitchen right here, and this is held by struts, uh, so it holds itself open, and then if it's raining, you got a little cover. Uh, so you, you got another bottle opener right there, and then you got your little cooktop right here, and the hose for it is up in here. And it's really easy to use. All you do is connect one end to right here. And then you connect the other end right over there. I got your sink here, hot and cold water, uh, light switch there. I do have an outlet there. And then you have your fridge. And then some storage. Uh, right here you have the exhaust for the furnace uh, just make sure nothing's in the way of that uh, you got some outside speakers uh, you got the vent for the stovetop vent and then you got a place to put a TV and then the cable hookups for it and then you got outlets all right uh that's everything outside now we'll go inside uh so you got your grab handle right here you just push up on it and turn it and it'll lock into place uh this is equipped with the solid steps uh so you just pull this lever and you got a handle right here you can grab and the steps will just fold right down on each leg, there's a little trigger. Uh, you press that in and you can adjust the length of the leg because uh, you want it sitting flush. Uh, this part right here, you want it sitting flush on the bottom of the door sill. That way the door will open and close uh, without binding on the steps. Um, to the left inside, uh, this right here is your converter. And this has all your breakers and your fuses right there. Uh, and you got a little seat right there to put on shoes. And then you got a little coat hook. Uh, right here is where your control center is. Uh, you have all your switches. And then you have your monitor panel right here. Uh, so you got your light switch there. Uh, that'll be for the lights over the awning. Uh... That light switch is for the ceiling lights. Then that light switch. Uh, what is that? Uh, the outside awning lights. That's what that switch is for. And then you got your awning switch. You have in and out. Uh, so you just press and hold it while rolling it in or out. Uh, rolling it out. You'll have to watch it. Uh, one, you'll see a valance fold down. 
Uh, once you see that, let off the switch. Uh, if you keep holding it, it will roll it backwards, so you just want to be careful of that. All right, so right about there, that's all the way out. And then on each side, uh, you can adjust the pitch of the awning. If it's sprinkling a little bit, uh, the water can run off. Uh, but if it's downpouring, uh, you want to... Uh, bring the awning in or if it's really windy you want to bring it in uh, and then rolling it in you just press and hold it until it stops All right, then you have your slide switches. Uh, so you got this slide right here. And this, you just press and hold in until it stops. All right, once you hear that noise, just let off the switch. And these two will be for the bunk room slides. Uh, this one will be for uh, that side. And then this one will be for the door side. Uh, so you just press and hold it again until it stops. Okay, so now those slides are out. Uh, you have a water pump switch here, so if you're using a freshwater tank, you'll use that switch for to pump the water to the system. Uh, but if you're using the city water, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you got the switch for the water heater for the gas. You just flip that on and it'll light right up. And then this is equipped with tank heaters. So on the black and gray tanks, there's little heating pads. Uh, so if it's getting kind of chilly and you're worried about it freezing, you can turn that on and it'll keep the tanks from freezing. Uh, and then your monitor panel's up here. So you have these buttons right here. You just press it and it'll light up over here telling you how full it is. Uh, so you have your fresh water tank. Uh, you have your battery, uh, you have the black tank, uh, that'll be for the front bathroom. And then the black tank 2, that'll be for the rear bathroom. And then gray 1 and gray 2, that's for the front and rear bathroom. And then the auxiliary, um, actually the gray 1 and gray 2, uh, yeah, the auxiliary will be for the kitchen sink. That's what that's for. Uh, up here, you have your little touch pad. Uh, go home. Come on. Alright, so this will control your stabilizer jacks. Um, so this is how you retract the rear jacks uh, before you start hooking up. And you can also manual level it and stuff. Alright, uh, so we'll go up front first. Uh, you have a little, little hallway light here that's uh, worked by a little button in the center. Uh, you have your bathroom right here. You got your toilet with a little foot flush right there. Uh, you got some storage baskets. Uh, and you got a vent fan right here. Uh, and that's controlled by this switch here. Uh, so you turn the fan on. And all you have to do is just open and close this. And then turn the fan off. And you got your light switch right there. 
And then you got your medicine cabinet and storage under the sink. Then your shower right here. And this has a lock right there uh, for travel. And there's also a lock on this side. Uh, so if you wanted to lock it this way, uh, you can. All right, now I'm going to the bedroom. Uh, so you have your switch right here for the bedroom side. Uh, you just have in and out. And again, you just press and hold it until it stops. Alright, uh, then your light switch right there. Uh, you got your wardrobe. And then there's storage under the bed for extra blankets and stuff. And then there's outlets and USB ports over there. Um, then you have your little walk-in closet right here. Uh, you have washer and dryer prepped right there. A light. Uh, this is prep for uh, Wi-Fi. And then you got a light here. And you got a hanging rod and some coat hangers in here. And some shelving right there. And then you got more hanging space over there. Uh, and you can also open that door and access it from that side. Uh, just like that. And then you got all this room right there. And you do have double mirrors on it. Uh, you got TV hookups up there. Uh, this is your second air conditioner. Uh, so you can open and close these. So if you close it, it'll vent through the whole unit. And if you open it, it'll blow directly in here. And now we'll go to the kitchen and living area. Uh, so you got your couch, that'll fold out and make into a bed. And then you got your dinette table, which you can put the table down and put cushions on it and make that into a bed as well. Uh, and then you got your lights there. And these are run by a push button. And then this has a push button right there to turn the light on over the dinette. Then you have your entertainment center, so you got your TV, uh, your radio, that's also your DVD player. It's also Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone to it. Uh, you have your fireplace right here with your switches right there. Uh, you got USB port here. Uh, and this is on a swivel mount, so you can pull this out and uh, turn it towards the couch so you don't have to kind of tweak your neck watching TV. And then you got storage up above and storage on the sides as well. Then you have your fridge right here. Um, there's a little latch right here you push up and you can open the fridge. I uh, got temperature control for the fridge right there. And then you got uh, this portion of the fridge right here. And then um, freezer side right here. And then actually the bottom is the freezer and then this is a smaller part of the fridge. Uh, you got your stove and oven here. And then you got a drawer for pots and pans. A um, bunch of storage around here up and above too. Household microwave, uh, you got stove top light and a fan. You got a light above the sink. Uh, nice faucet right here, uh, pulls out and you got a little sprayer on it. 
Uh, you got a nice drying rack for dishes or if you're rinsing off uh, fruits and veggies, uh, that works well uh, as well. Um, right here, you got like a little pantry area um, or storage. Uh, it goes pretty deep. That's probably like two and a half, three feet deep. Uh, then you got a switch right here for the ceiling fan. Uh, also has a light on it that you'll have to pull one of the cords for. Then you got your two thermo you got your two thermostats here. Uh, they work the same. I'm not quite sure which ones for which. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, so the big button controls the mode. Then you got cool for air conditioner, and then you got temperature control. Well, let's see if it kicks on what one. All right, so that is the living room one. Uh, it's the one closest to the doors for the living room. And then you got heat and then off. And then this will be for the bedroom one. Yeah, so this one will control uh, the main air conditioner and the furnace, and this one will only control the uh, bedroom air conditioner. All right, we'll go behind this door, and you have the bunk room. A uh, nice big bunk area for the kids or other sleeping guests. Uh, you got your light switch here for the two ceiling lights, and then... Uh, you get a light there on top of that bunk. Uh, this one has a light there as well. No light under here. Uh, you got a nice little couch, but that'll also fold down into, I believe it's a queen size bed actually. Uh, outlets and USB ports. And then this also folds up for some more headroom if kids are watching a movie or playing games uh, you got a little entertainment area for the tv and then these also act as a ladder to get up this side does because you got the grab handle there and then you got storage there and storage too uh, you got more storage here uh, hanging closet and if you want to hide some stuff you got storage up there <laughs> uh, a little coat rack for the kids and we'll go into the rear bathroom. All right, uh, light switch on the right. Then you got uh, that light switch. Oh, come on. Well, that light switch will be for the outside light right there. Uh, then you got the fan on right there, uh, which right now it's closed, so you'll have to open it if you want to vent it out. Uh, sink, medicine cabinet. Uh, this one has a bathtub in the back, uh, but you got the shower nozzle there and then the shower curtain. Uh, and then storage right above the toilet. Alright, I believe that is everything to do with the 2022 Salem Hemisphere. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for shopping at Michelson RV.